I'm going to show you how you can edit existing records with Airtable forms. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com. I will add a URL to this in the description. Just heads up, this tool requires a pro Airtable account. So I was looking for a solution for this myself, and I found that a bunch of the solutions will require having like a duplicated table. So now you have to maintain all your existing fields plus all the fields of the new table. And now you have to make sure that every new field there is added there, et cetera. It's just a headache. And then I found that a bunch of the solutions will give you the form empty. So like they're not, you're not really editing the record. The, the form is empty. You're making updates to a single cell, but you're not actually updating the existing data you have in the record. And then third, a bunch of them were just really slow. Like it'll take 15, 30 minutes to see the update get reflected. And that's not really updating. That's not really what I'm looking for. So here's what we came up with. Um, our tool will give you a formula. This formula you add as a new field, and then each URL in this new field opens up to an Airtable form. This Airtable form is pre-filled for you. I can make any changes I want here, and it's entirely pre-filled except for attachments. You cannot remove existing attachments, but you can add new attachments. So if I just do this real quick, and then just add a photo here, and then let's just make random changes here, just a speed round. So remove these linked records, change the single select, remove this check. Uh, we already did that. Let's do, let's see, let's add some new linked records here. Let's change a bunch of options here. Let's do this, let's do this. All right, and then let's see what else. Let's remove this, and then let's change this date. Let's change this percentage. Um, change this percentage, this rating, et cetera, et cetera. Collaborators, let's change this collaborator. Let's add multiple collaborators here. And the last thing here is this tool requires you to add a new field to your table. This field will be used to determine what record you're trying to edit. This is pre-filled for you by the tool. You don't really have to do anything. Of course, it's unfortunate that this thing has to show up in your form. It's an Airtable limitation. I couldn't really do it any other way. Like that is satisfactory. This is the best way we could come up with. You can always, of course, add a little message to tell your users do not edit this it's because this. If, if they edit it, it just you know the update will fail. Nothing bad will happen. It just the update will fail. Anyways, let's hit submit here. We see that a new record pops up in our table, and as it's redirecting to our tool, it immediately pops in and updates that record. All our updates are there. So this is what you would see if you buy the tool. Um, you'll have to fill up the first three things, follow these URLs to find those keys and IDs. And then you wanna fill up the form URL. And then you wanna fill up that field that I mentioned earlier. This is the field that we use to determine which record you're trying to update. Uh, when you add this field, just make sure it's a text type. And then when you add it, make sure it shows up in your form and make sure you add a little message. Like if you just click here and then just add a little message telling your users not to change it. And then if you have any percent fields or duration fields, make sure you add their names here so that we can handle them correctly. Then we automatically import the fields for you. Uh, make sure to remove so these are the fields that will show up in the form so based on what you have here try to match that with this make sure you have no fields that are computed so no formulas no lookups no rollups etc because Airtable doesn't allow updates to those so make sure you remove those and then um, make sure that if, if you don't see any field here that you're looking for make sure you to add it manually and then hit save once you did all of that, hit this little settings icon, and then you'll want to do two things. This is the formula I mentioned. You grab this, you drop it in a new column, and in that new column, um, like this, I just added this new column, and then you'll see these URLs. Second thing is the redirect URL. So as soon as the form is submitted, we update that record instantly, and that speed comes from having a redirect URL from, air from the Airtable form. This is why this extension requires a pro account. So go to your form. Um, it'll be like this. Just hit this, drop the URL here, hit save, and you are all set.